at least five people were killed and 13 others injured as a strong blast rocked Yemen's Aden district on Friday evening. The explosion occurred on al Taysin Street in the densely populated Mansura district, following a fire at the gas station. The explosion was heard across various parts of the city. The cause of the explosion has not been revealed yet, according to media reports. A Yemeni security official, speaking on condition of anonymity, expressed grave concerns about potential casualties due to the proximity of the gas station to residential areas. One police officer was shot dead and two others injured after a shooting in Dallas, Texas on Thursday evening, local police said. The incident took place at around 10.10 p.m. local time in the area of East Ledbetter Drive and South Marsalis Avenue in the Oak Cliff area of Dallas, police said in a statement early Friday. The suspect fled the scene but was shot and killed by Dallas police officers who pursued him to the 1000 block of Stemmons Freeway down I-35E in Louisville, the statement reads. One of the injured police officers passed away in the hospital from the injuries sustained in the shooting. Two other police officers were also transported to local hospitals and are currently in critical and stable conditions. Officials did not give any possible motive for the shooting and the investigation into the incident is ongoing. The Russian army fears the ATACMS tactical missile system more than any other weapon. Despite the fact that the Russians have begun to redeploy their combat aircraft deep into the territory, it is not too late for the Ukrainian armed forces to strike enemy military airfields with the aforementioned missiles, but this requires permission from the United States. This is reported in the article by The Telegraph. The newspaper notes that the American leadership is trying to balance between two priorities, providing Kiev with the assistance necessary to defeat Russia, but not provoking the Kremlin to launch a nuclear strike. According to the author of the article, a large-scale exchange of nuclear strikes could put an end to human civilization in the form in which it exists now. At the same time, this does not mean that Washington will not give Ukraine more freedom to use American weapons. The White House has already adjusted its policy and allowed GMLRS missiles from HIMARS to hit Russian military facilities in the border areas of the Russian Federation from which Ukrainian settlements are shelled. But the Americans still keep the key weapon, ATACMS missiles, on a short leash, the article says. These are ultra-precise missiles that move at speeds exceeding Mach 3, making them virtually inaccessible to air defense systems. The effectiveness of these weapons was proven during the Ukrainian army's strikes on targets in the occupied territories of Ukraine. The newspaper believes that the decision on ATACMS will not prompt Moscow to launch a nuclear response but will only force it to move its aircraft further away. 
Recall, in May, the U.S. allowed Ukraine to use HIMARS multiple rocket launchers, GMLRS rockets, and artillery against Russian territory near the Ukrainian border. However, the U.S. and U.K. still prohibit Ukraine from using U.S.-made ATACMS missiles and British-made Storm Shadow missiles for strikes deeper inside Russia. Despite Russia's withdrawal of aircraft beyond the range of the Storm Shadow and ATACMS missiles provided by the West, a significant number of Russian military facilities remain within the reach of Western weapons. Analysts state that restrictions on Western weapons allow Russian forces to use the shelter space in Russia's deep rear to support military operations against Ukraine. The ISW draws attention to numerous Western media reports indicating that the U.S. government is prohibiting the U.K. from allowing Ukraine to use Storm Shadow missiles to strike military targets in Russia. The ISW stressed that the redeployment of Russian aircraft from 16 Russian airbases in the ATA-CMS area of operation does not diminish the importance of allowing Ukraine to use ATA-CMS against hundreds of other Russian military targets.